Simple Cyber Defense Security Updates for October 6, 2022. Welcome back to Simple Cyber Defense. This is the first week of the Cybersecurity Awareness Month for October 2022. And we're going to start off by talking about passwords and what you can do to get rid of all your bad passwords. So <clears throat> the first thing is you'll need to choose a password manager. There's really no excuse not to have one. It's very simple and there are a lot of free options and some paid options. Uh, Later on, there's going to be a YouTube video that will go over some of the top password managers, the pros, the cons, and ease of use and all that. But right now, we're just going to focus on how you would go about changing your bad passwords and making them into something that's stronger and better. So the first stop we're going to go to is Have I Been Pwned? This website will allow you to check to see if your current password is in the leaked databases. And this is done securely because what the website owner does is when you submit your password, it's going to get turned into a hash. And each of the database passwords are also hashed so that when your password hash gets entered into the system, it will be compared to all the hashes from the data breaches. And if there's a match, that means that your password appears in one of those data breaches. If this does happen, immediately change your password. So the easiest way to go about changing these bad passwords and entering them into a, a password manager is to first go into your account and go log into the password manager first that way when you change your password it will allow it will recognize that hey this is a new password for a new account Let, you want me to add it in all the major password managers do this um, so once you go to your account log in and go to the spot where you want want to change your password You'll go to your password manager, and if it is a good one, it will give you the option to generate strong and complex passwords. So when you go to this generator, make sure that you have the upper lowercase selected, the numbers and special characters. And also make sure that your password is at least 12 characters long. I know the most common advice for passwords to be eight digits long but for more complexity and make them even stronger I recommend a minimum of 12 so once you get your password generated you will go to the process of changing it so you go to your account type in your current password and then paste in the generated password and then you'll change your password and what you'll do next is log out of your account and log back in with the new generated password. And then your password manager will recognize that, hey, you, you entered in a new credentials. Do you want to add this in? And say yes and then add it into the password manager. If it doesn't, go back to your password manager and see if there is a feature to turn on automatically adding new accounts or anything like that. If not, then you'll have to manually add it in. So first I will target I would target all of my major accounts that I want secured the most, mostly social media, emails, and banking. These are the top three that I would change first and add them into the password manager. And then slowly over time you'll go to the other accounts as a case-by-case -case basis when you get to it. But 
those three major ones are the ones I do right away and add them all into the password manager. That way, all of your major accounts are secured better with better passwords and generate passwords for each account as you're not going to remember this everything will be saved into the password manager so there will be no excuse to reuse passwords and plus if you use the same password over and over again and an attacker gets lucky to get a data breach on one account then they will use that password that they got from that data breach and try to use them in all your different accounts and if you have the same password hey look they're into everything so it's very important to create these complex unique passwords for each account so that if a data breach happens in one you don't have to worry about all your accounts getting taken over just that one account so that's the best way to enter all your passwords into the password manager It's just by slowly over time it may take up to six months depending on how many accounts you have to get to the process of going through to change your passwords and to then add them into the password manager but once they are in there and you have strong complex passwords the likelihood of you needing to change them is kind of lower but I would say every six months to a year just to check to make sure that those passwords aren't in another data breach so go back to and have been pwned and go over your major accounts that you want to secure the most and then just periodically put in those passwords just to see okay have these been exposed to the internet through a data breach if they have just go through and change them immediately if not then you're probably good to keep them um, I would definitely say after a year slowly start changing them anyway just to be in a habit um, because you have strong complicated passwords it's not very likely that you'll need to change them every few months because unless there's a major data breach that you don't know about but other than that those passwords will be good because they're generated pseudo randomly and don't have anything linked to you so it's going to be a string of numbers and letters and they're not going to be anything like your pet's names or the place that you lived in or the birth dates or anniversaries or anything like that because those are not secure passwords a lot of people have the habits of using these pets names and all these so that they can remember them but unfortunately because we live in the days of social media we share a lot more information than we should and so an attacker can collect all that information through your social media profiles to get your pets names where you grow up where you grew up anything that is personal to you and use that to try to guess what your passwords are and a lot of times people don't remember complicated passwords so they make them really easy for them to remember but unfortunately that will give the attacker a lot easier time to guess your password and to get in so the best thing to do is to use a password manager to generate the passwords for you if you don't have a password manager that has a generator you could either go online and find a password generator to generate random passwords for you or just switch to a password manager that does have a generator for you and because of these data breaches becoming more and more prevalent some of the really major top password managers also gives you the ability to check your passwords through the databases the exposed databases online a lot of them do this with a premium account so if you don't want to pay for it you can just go through have I've been pwned and one by one go through and check to see if your passwords have been exposed otherwise you could actually pay that premium membership and just have the password manager check for you and they'll check all of them at once and they'll give you a list okay these passwords have been exposed so you might want to change them and 
It's just the best thing to do is just become very diligent and vigilant in this password fight and make sure that you avoid the trap of password reusing and using very personal information to create your passwords. Even though they're very memorable, they're also easy to guess based upon all the information that they then an attacker can collect on social media. So with that said, this should get you on track on how to create strong passwords. Like I said, I'll create a YouTube tutorial on, not a tutorial, but more like a review on some of the most top rated password managers, the pluses and minuses of them. So just take a look on that. Look out for that. And if, like always, if you always have suggestions or questions about topics that you want me to cover, just go to the website and click on the suggest uh, tab and to just give me a quick email to suggest what topics you want me to cover. If you found this useful, always give it a like, share to people that you think will use this information and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for listening to the Simple Cyber Defense Security Updates. Join us next time when we dive into more security issues and make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. Plus, if you have a topic suggestion or want to support the podcast, stop by our website at simplecyberdefense.com.